So hi guys, and welcome to The Practical. So before we begin, we're just going to do a very brief introduction to the Hominoidea family that we're interested in looking at. So here I've just done a very, very brief phylogenetic tree. It doesn't include everything, it's not remotely detailed. It's just to give you an idea of the evolutionary history of Hominoidea. So obviously we start at the primates' work, our way down. Some terms you may be familiar with, others not. So I've put their common names up here, so that might help you. And you've got Hominoidea here, which is the apes, and that splits off into Hylobatidae, which is the gibbon, and Hominidae, which are the great apes. So in a little bit more detail, Hominoidea is actually a superfamily. I know this is a term that we haven't come across before, and there's going to be a fair few taxonomic terms that we didn't cover. In the previous lecture, we covered the most commonly known taxonomic terms, but there will be some that you don't know and you haven't come across before, and that's fine. Just look up the definition, and if you can't find the definition and you don't understand, then post in the forum and we'll see what we can find for you. So it branches off into two families, Hominoidea, and you have Hominidae, and you have the given Tylobatidae. So this split occurred about 19.9 million years ago, and geologically speaking, that's a very recent event. This is just, I put this for reference, this is a, a geological history by the Geological Society of America. So for reference, this is when Earth began, and this actually takes about 85% of Earth's time. The other three are about 15%, but they're most certainly not split equal. So here you have the dinosaur extinction event, so, and this is where the age of the mammals began. And we call this the age of the mammals, because without the dinosaurs and the giant reptiles and things like that, we suddenly had a huge radiation event of mammals, which in, what that basically means is we went from very few species to loads of species in a very short amount of time, which means we were, mammals were occupying all the niches left over from the extinction of the dinosaurs. So the gibbon and the great apes fit occurred here, and you are here. So Earth speaking is a very recent event. Human lifespan speaking, it was a long time ago. So hominidae is a taxonomic family that contains the four genera. So you've got pan, which are the chimps, Homo, which is us, Pongo, which are orangutans, and Gorilla, which is very self-explanatory, and these contain seven extant species. Hylobatidae is a taxonomic family that contains four genera. They have Hulok, Hylobate, sorry, Namascus, and Symphalangus. And they have a little bit more diversity than us, they contain about 18 species. Now the conservation status is something I thought I'd put in, just for a bit of reference. So according to the IUCN Red List, all members of the Hominoidea superfamily have decreasing populations, obviously except humans whose population is increasing, and the Potto whose population is stable. So we've got five critically endangered, we've got 14 endangered and one vulnerable. Now, that's a bit worrying, we're beginning to lose our diversity, as you know, our taxonomic cousins are beginning to lose their diversity, and that's a little bit worrying. And if you are interested in understanding how uh, phylogenetics contributes to conservation status and things like this, then do take the biodiversity module where we go into this kind of thing in a lot more detail. But for now, I just thought it'd be good as a reference just to see how our taxonomic cousins are faring at the moment. So just a couple of terms, you've got hominoid, members of the hominoidia superfamily, and hominid, members of the hominidae great ape family. When you do some research later, you might come across again a few that you're not sure of, but do try and have a look and see if you can find out their definitions. And again, if you're not sure, do post on the forums. So your tasks, if you choose to accept. You're going to construct a phylogenetic tree using the DNA sequence provided. We're going to have a look at a website called Time Tree and have a look at the timeline of speciation events for the species in the tree. We're going to find out some information about the species in the tree, and I've left the species names in Latin. Now, this is something I want you to do on your own or in groups or however you're working, but it's not something I'm going to be assisting you with. So just a little bit of independent learning. So how are we going to do this? The tabs below the video contain all the resources you need to do tasks 1 and 2, and there is going to be a video where I show you how to do this. Or you can use the instruction booklet. Uh, for task 3, you can use search engine, book, whatever you like, to find out a little bit more about the members in the phylogenetic tree, so hopefully understanding the evolution of the species in the tree makes a little bit more sense to you. So, let's begin the practical.